In this quick video, I'll show you the only method that lets you change the icons of system apps in macOS Sequoia. Let's check it out. So system apps are apps like Finder, Safari, Messages, Music, pretty much any app that comes pre-installed on your Mac. Non-system apps like Spotify, Photoshop, or Steam can easily be changed. All you need is the icon of your choice, then you can right click the app you want to change and simply drag and drop your new icon onto the small icon in Get Info. But let's look how to do those pesky system apps. To do this, we'll need to use the app IconChamp by Mac Enhance. The free version of the app provides an easy way to change non-system icons by simply dragging your icon onto the app in IconChamp and hitting apply. We'll need the pro version to change system apps, which costs $10, but in my opinion, it's well worth the price. Let's check out how to use IconChamp on macOS Sequoia. So here's my desktop, and then I have my dock down here. So the first step is going to be to download IconChamp 1.3.7, which as of now is the only version of IconChamp that will work with macOS Sequoia. I'll leave a link to the GitHub download page in the video's description. Once on the GitHub page, we're going to go to IconChamp 1.3.7, then click the three dots in the top right hand corner, and click download. Once it's downloaded, we're going to go to Finder in our downloads folder, and double click the .zip file to unzip it. Then drag IconChamp into your applications folder. Next, go to your applications folder and double click IconChamp to launch. Before booting up, IconChamp will tell you that it requires additional components. Click Continue and Install, type in your password, and install the helper. Once installed, we're ready to use IconChamp. So right now, the only categories that we need to worry about are user apps, user folders, and system apps. In order to use the system apps section, we're going to need to enter our license key. But for now, let's check out user apps. Let's see. I want to change the icon for crossover preview because it just doesn't fit in with the rest of my macOS icons. So down here in the search bar, I'm going to search crossover. There's crossover preview. Let's go to macOSicons.com and see if we can find a nice icon for crossover. I'm going to go to macOSicons.com, go to the search bar, and search crossover. I like this one. I'm going to click it to download. Next, I'm going to go to my Downloads folder and simply drag my new icon onto Crossover in IconChamp. Then I'm going to hit Apply. And there we go. I have a new icon. Now let's try some system icons. I'm going to go ahead and click on System Apps and I'm going to enter my license to register my account. So let's take a look at my dock. In this video, I'm going to do my Safari icon, Messages, Mail, and Music. So I'm going to go to my Finder, and I already have a folder full of icons that I like. I'm going for more of a dark mode look, so let's see what I got. This is my favorite Safari icon, so I'm going to use this. So I have my icon champ window up, and I have my Finder window with my icons in it up, and I'm going to find Safari. I'm simply going to drag and drop my icon onto the Safari icon in IconChamp. Next, let's do Messages. I think this one looks pretty good. I'm going to find Messages and do the same thing. Next, let's do Mail. This one looks pretty good. And lastly, let's do Music. And let's do notes as well. Once I have the icons that I want ready to go, I can hit apply. Finder and the dock will restart. And if we go to the dock, we can now drag the app out of our dock. and then re-add them.
What do we think? I think that looks pretty good, but I think I want to change my Discord icon also. I think that looks pretty good. But what about our finder icon? If I go back to IconChamp 1.3.7 and go to System Apps, there is no finder option. Unfortunately, if we want to change our finder icon, we're going to have to use a different version of IconChamp that only can change the finder icon. So I'm going to go back to the GitHub with the download links, and I'll leave the link in the description of this video, and I'm going to download IconChamp 1.4. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to go to my downloads, unzip the file, and I'm going to name it IconChamp 1.4 so that I can tell the difference between my two IconChamps. I'm going to go to my applications folder and double click IconChamp 1.4 to launch it. We'll need to reinstall our privileged helper. And then I'm going to go to system apps. And there's Finder. So I already have a Finder icon that I really like. It's this cute little BMO Finder. So I'm going to drag it and drop it onto my Finder icon and then hit Apply. Now, this version of the app doesn't quite work properly. It'll most likely crash, but it still should apply the icon correctly to Finder. So the app crashed. I'm going to hit Reopen just to see if it took. It looks like it did. So now all we have to do is restart the computer and our finder icon will be changed. So my computer just restarted and let's check out my doc. Oh, nice. 